guys, welcome back sa ating series na Basic Web Development. So this is episode 4 and for today we are going to learn about HTML and CSS. So ayan, CSS na tayo. So tapos na tayo sa HTML lang, haluan na natin siya ng CSS. So this is about the introduction to CSS and the inline CSS. But before we start, we should describe what CSS is. So, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So, ano ba CSS? It is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of a document written in a markup language like HTML. So, ayan, sinasabi niya kung paano yung itsura ng ating website. So, it, it is, it has to do with the physical appearance or virtual appearance ng ating website pagka tinitingnan na siya. So, kung ano ba yung color ng text na to, ano ba yung color ng background, ano ba yung background image niya, ano yung font family ng text na to, gano'n kalaki yung text na yan, and everything that has have to do with the appearance of our website. So, syempre, like HTML, meron siyang maliliit na property. So, ang sa HTML, tawag sa kanya is element. Sa CSS naman, tinatawag siya ng CSS property. So, nilalagay siya sa loob ng element or basta sa CSS. Okay, so what is CSS property? It is used to define a certain style to be changed. An example, background color, font family, width, height. So, yun yung mga individual attributes or individual property ng isang element na pwede nating baguhin. Sobrang rami ng CSS property like HTML element. So, inilive ko na lang yung link sa description ng full list na CSS properties. And then, you can check that out. Kasi pagka tinuro ko lahat yun ay mababaliw tayo. So, ayan na. We will tackle about the inline CSS. So, ano yung inline CSS? So, this is inline styles. It is used to apply a unique style for a single element. So, kada element sa kanya meron siyang style. So, yun yung gagawin ng inline styles. It uses the style attribute to apply styles in an element. So, alam nyo naman yung mga attribute, yung mga src, href na tinuro last time. So, yun yung mga attributes yung nilalagay sa loob ng element. So, to further understand this, we are going to apply it again. So, open up your notepad++ and create a basic HTML file lang. So, eto, meron na ako dito. So, here we are at notepad++ and I've created a single page website. So, this is called index.html and I have the, here the basic structure of HTML and then if we try to show it on Google Chrome so, ito lang laman niya, home and then may intro to CSS. So, um, what is inline CSS? So, sabi nga kanina dun, it uses the style attribute. So, if we want na dagdagan ng style yung body. So, ang body is itong buo na to. Yung head hindi siya nakikita. So, if we want to change the background color of the body, we can do that. So, all we have to do is, you see this body element. Nadagdagan natin siya ng style attribute. So, style is equals to pinabang quotation marks. So, ayan, ngayon, meron na tayong style attribute for body. So, inside that, lalagay na natin yung mga CSS properties na sila sabi natin. So, for example nga nito is background color. So, marami siyang maraming CSS properties. So, ito yung isa dun. Background dash color. So, as you can see, yan. Tapos, um, colon. Ayan yung format niya. And then, yung color na gusto natin. Kunwari, black. Pwede din tayo maglagay ng hexadecimal dito. Kunwari, eh, ayan, number sign 000. So, yung marami yan. So, you can search that on the internet or tingnan nyo na lang sa mga, mga ano nyo, image tool nyo. So, yan. Nalagyan natin ng color. So, sa akin, black. Then, tapos, nalagyan natin ng semicolon. So, yan. Pagka sinave natin to and then, reload natin to you can see na magiging black na siya. Oh, yan. So, it has turned the background to black. So, hindi na natin makita yung text kasi black na siya. Ayan, black na siya. Pero, dito pa rin siya. So, we are going to change the color of that to white. So, alin dun yun? Yung age, yung age 1. Tama. So, lalagyan natin siya ng style attribute. Style equals to the quotation marks. Tapos, 
ang sa font color naman, hindi mo na kailangan ilagay na font dash color. So, you need to do color lang. Tapos, colon, tapos yung color na gusto mo. White. Then, semicolon. Save. Then, reload. Ayan na, white na siya. So, what if um, hindi lang yun yung gusto natin yung baguhin. So, gusto natin gawin color white yung text and gusto din natin at the same time palitan yung font family niya. So, we can do that. So, after ng ating semicolon, pwede pa ulit tayo magdagdag ng isa pang property. So, gusto naman natin is font-family. Tapos, yun ulit. Ulit-ulit lang yan. Colon and then yung family na, font family na gusto natin. Which is dapat naka-install sa computer nyo. So, sa akin, Verdana. Then, ayan. Um, semicolon ulit. Then, save. And as you can see, observe kung ano mangyayari dito. Then, if you reload this, reload, ayan, Verdana na siya. So, ganun lang yung logic nung CSS. So, we can put as many attributes as we want after nito. So, pwede pa tayong magdagdag dito ng background color, ganun. So, marami pang iba. So, magdagay naman tayo ng image. So, tinuruan na kayo last time kung paano magdagay ng image. Uh, preferably, nakasama siya dapat na HTML file. Ayan, so, ito yung index HTML ko. Tapos, meron ako dito isang image. So, PNG file siya, as you can see here. Then, I'm just gonna copy the name. Then, paste it on the src tag, src attribute. Then, lalagay ko lang yung format niya, dot png. Save. Tapos, reload natin. Wow, ayan na. Nandito na siya. So, parang sobrang laki niya, di ba? So, actually, I'm gonna change the background to something more just na nakikita yung ano. So, gray. There you go. So, ang laki nung picture. So, instead na maglagay tayo ng attribute na width is equals to 100 pixels here. As you can see, pwede yun. Pero, para mas mapadali ang buhay natin, lalagay natin siya sa style attribute. So, if we want to change multiple attributes at one time, pwede natin siyang gawin. So, ayan. Style is equals to Quotation marks, double quotation marks, and then yung style na gusto natin ilagay. So, width. Papalitan natin yung attribute niya na width, which is nilagay ko nga 150 pixels lang na. Okay, so this will work also. If we reload this, and ganyan na siyang kalakay. And as you can see, yung makikita nyo sa Facebook, circle yung images, and sa iba pang website, and social media. So, they are using border radius attribute. So, what is border radius? You will see. So, border dash radius and then colon tapos how much, how many percent should the border radius be? So, if we put 50% then tapos semicolon observe this pag reload and circle na siya. So, we can change this as much as we want. If we want just 10% kung smooth lang yung side niya. So, you can control, you have the control over this. Ano, kaya yun yung kagandahan ng CSS. To add on to this, if you want a background image, you can also do that. So, sa body natin, we can, instead of background color, we're going to put background dash image. So, may mga properties na iba yung ano niya, iba yung syntax niya. So, meron tayong semi so, colon. Tapos, for this naman, kasi background image siya, we need URL. Tapos, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, sa loob ng dalawang single quote. Tapos, sa loob na ito, yun yung parang dito sa SRC, yung path ng ating image. So, meron ako dito na tinatawag na BG, which is a JPG image. So, we're just gonna put bg.tpg. Save that, then reload this. Reload this. Yan, meron na tayong background, which is yung nakalagay dun sa aking file. So, oh, bakit ganun? Nakatile siya, oh. Paano ipe-prevent yan? So, meron din tayong property for that. This is called the background size. So, semicolon. Tapos, alagay natin, background dash size. So, marami tayong background size na value. So, ang gagamitin natin is cover. So, marami yan. Tingnan nyo na lang doon sa iiwan kong link. 
So, this means like kakover niya yung buong website natin gamit yung image na yan. So, if we reload this, magiging single na lang siya. Hindi na siya nagtatiles kahit zoom in, zoom out niyo. So, that's the inyong purpose ng background size. So, yun guys. I hope you learned something for today. And I hope to see you in the next video. So, this ito muna ituturo ko sa inyo. Next up, we have um, e, ano, internal CSS and then external CSS, yung mga selector ng CSS. So, stay tuned for that tutorial. And by the way, thank you for 100 subscribers. So, at this video, we have 100 subscribers. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.